who were to blame for the failure to solve the crisis over the third Home Rule Bill by September 1914. Liberals' fault. Asquith's leadership. Wait and see tactic that he used. He planned to sit in the sidelines, let things develop and intervene at last minute. This meant the government only reacted to events and handed an initiative to the Unionists. Appease IPP. Asquith preferred to reassure the IPP that the Liberals would fight for an all-Ireland home rule solution. He had no real plan and was unsure of the type of partition to be developed. He might have tried to be straight with the IPP and encourage compromise on Ulster. No direction. Between December 1913 and January 1914, Asquith held private talks with Carson and Bonerlaw. No compromise was found, but he kept his Liberal colleagues in the dark. No direction was given in these talks. Timing of conference in Buckingham Palace. Asquith called this a year too late. All parties were too bitter to compromise and stakes had climbed too high with gun runnings north and south. Churchill recklessness caused the Cura mutiny. March 1914, Churchill wanted to put on pressure on the UVF with a show of force by the army. He moved extra troops to ammo dumps in Ulster. This started a chain of events, including blunders by the War Office, going beyond orders and speaking hypothetically about forcing home rule on Ulster. That led to the mutiny. Conservative split would do anything to get to power. Need to unite party. They were defeated in three elections between 1906 and 1910. They talked of never holding office again. Tariff reform. Split in the party were free trade versus protection for industry. Anti-home rule was the perfect issue that all conservatives could unite behind. Boner Law, new leader in 1911. He had linked Ulster with his father being a minister in Korean, and he was prepared to fight with the Unionists. He had a new style, aggressive and prepared to go any lengths to unite the party to get into power. Ulster resistance. Organised, united and effective, they had a mix of tactics, parliament and militant. Allied to the Conservatives and hard for the Liberals to tackle. Leadership. Carson, great speaker and as a lawyer could attack Home Rule on legal terms. Also a firm negotiator. The only Irish member with a backbone, the quote from the IRB. Yet he was pragmatic, switched from killing Home Rule with Ulster to excluding Ulster. Craig, superb organiser. He organised Ulster Day to the 28th of September 1912. Experience of Home Rule. First and second Home Rule bills meant that Ulster Unionists were used to resistance. The UUC had been formed in 1905, which gave link between people and party. Links also to the Orange Order helped organise events and resistance. Tactics Peaceful Britain was impressed at an event such as Ulster Day and the signing of the Covenant. Unions were effective in Parliament. Carson's rejection of temporary exclusion March 1914. Ulster wanted no stay of execution for six years. Quote from Carson. Militant The UVF gun running April 1914 raised the stakes and made Ulster resistance appear real and no longer a bluff. IPP mistakes. They underestimated Ulster resistance and trusted Liberal allies too much. Ireland as a unit. Redmond denied Ulster's right to petition. He felt that the minority could not stop majority's democratic right. Quote, Ireland is a unit. The two nation theory to us is a blasphemy. Underestimated Ulster resolve. Redmond saw Ulster as a rock to be blasted out of the way. Dylan and Devlin, MP for West Belfast, agreed that Ulster resistance was bluff. No plan B. No alternative to an All-Ireland Home Rule. The IPP allowed Liberals to fight their battle. Liberals could give compromises for the IPP, then tell them after. The IPP should have had reasonable demands to hold Liberals accountable. Distraction for Government The naval race with Germany, suffragettes, approaching war. Difficult time for Government to deal with Home Rule. Conclusion Asquith and Liberals were clearly partly to blame. Early decisive action and clear leadership could have brought a compromise based on partition before Ulster resistance had grown beyond a bluff. However, this was a difficult time for the government with distractions from suffragettes to approaching war. Moreover, the Liberals faced organised and determined opposition, while their allies in the IPP arguably made as many mistakes as the government.